Hi, my name is Afua Bruce and I'm a computer engineer. You're watching What's the Scoop on Curiosity Camp and I'm gonna answer your top five questions for me. Question one is from Addison. What does a computer engineer do? I'm so glad you asked, Addison. A computer engineer is someone who, as you might imagine, works with computers. This can be the hardware or the software. So hardware is something like actually building a computer or building the actual circuit boards that go into any type of electronic device. There's also the computer software side, and this is actually where I specialize. You get to learn different computer languages like Python or R and a host of other computer languages to figure out how to speak to computers in the way that they understand to get them to do what you want them to do. You might not think of this, but computer engineers and data scientists and really anyone with technical skills can really use their skills to help communities. So you can go into a nonprofit organization, say one that provides healthcare to people who need it and who are out in the countryside. And then you can use your technical skills, your programming skills to figure out what's the quickest way to get medicine from point A to point B. Where do people need more medicine, more healthcare? And you can provide that. Question two is from Erica. What is your biggest fear with technology and can computers take over the world? I'm actually not too concerned about computers taking over the world. I know that there are a lot of movies and lots of television shows and sci-fi novels about computers taking over the world. But even when you look at machine learning or artificial intelligence, these um, types of technology and types of programming that people talk about, the thing about that is that the constraints are always set by humans. So if we as humans tell computers, you can do this much, but you can't take over the world, computers will only go to the line that we set for them. It looks like they want to do something different and just ask me a bunch of would you rather questions related to technology. Would you rather live without technology or wait in line at the DMV every time you want to drive somewhere? I would rather wait in line at the DMV every time I want to drive somewhere because with technology, I would bring things to me more often. Question three is from Janice. What is your favorite thing that you've built and why? One of my most favorite things that I've built is actually not a computer program. I had the opportunity to work with a number of colleges across the United States and figure out ways to train college students on how to use technology in ways that help communities. That's probably one of the things I'm most proud of. Question four is from Emma. What is the number one problem you hope technology will solve? It's so hard for me to pick just just one problem that I want technology to solve. If I had to choose, I want technology to solve for ways to connect people so that everyone feels included and everyone realizes that by just virtue of being themselves, they are valued and they have a contribution that they can make to society. Oh man, do I have to pick for this one? existential question here. I, I would rather live without artwork because I could use the technology to create my own artwork. That's the beauty of data science and machine learning and artificial intelligence is that you can take a lot of information, you can take a lot of inputs from the world and from other people. And even without you yourself seeing the artwork, you can actually get the computer to generate something interesting. Question five is from Ariana. How are data scientists spying on us to sell us things? The idea of a bunch of data scientists in a room somewhere spying on your every move online or whatever you do is pretty scary. I don't think this is actually what happened. In fact, it isn't. You don't have a bunch of people in a room somewhere just watching you. What happens is that the way that computer systems can be designed, the way that data scientists can look at information, they take in all of the information they have and adjust programs and adjust the outcome, so adjust what you see based on what you tell it. So if you are searching for something online and you're only clicking on a bunch of red shirts, then the computer program will learn and the data science then learns that you like red shirts and it will adjust accordingly but individual data scientists, they're not usually spying on you. I would tell young girls who want to make an impact with technology to just do it, to figure out what matters to them, and then think about all of the different technology you know, all of the different data you have, and see what you can come up with that will help people in a way they want to be helped. Go to goldieblocks.com for the downloadables so you can learn more about data analysis. Send us your questions on Instagram to have them featured in a future campisode.